let us look into the Fourier series coefficients of a periodic square wave. So over here we have a square wave and uh, the square wave is repeating after t time period. So the time period starts from minus t by 2 to t by 2. Hence the time period is from here to here t and similarly the angular frequency omega naught is 2 pi by the time period so that is omega naught is 2 pi by t. Now in order to find the Fourier series coefficients we look into the analysis expression and that is equivalent to 1 over the time period and integration over the time period of the signal x of t with respect to the orthogonal basis that is exponential to the power minus jk omega naught t dt. So in order to solve this analysis expression we observe that the signal is appearing from minus t1 until t1 so we can simplify this integration from minus t1 to t1 so this is the new range of integration similarly x of t has an amplitude of a so we set an amplitude a here and rest of the things are as is that is the exponential to the power minus j k omega naught which is 2 pi by t t d d so in the third equality we solve the calculus that is we solve this integration for that whatever is in the argument of this exponential that would appear in the denominator so we have minus 1 over j k 2 pi by t appearing outward and inward the same exponential will come here and we are going to set the value of t small t from capital minus t1 to capital t1 that is from here to here so next if we set the value of small t to t1 we are going to have this exponential similarly when we are going to set the value of small t to minus t1 we are going to have this exponential furthermore in the fourth equality we have kept the fraction that is minus 1 over 2j over here whereas rest of these variables are moved towards the left side that is the first term that is a by t so a by t is now furnished with a by t k pi by t whereas we have kept minus 1 over 2j over here now this is a proper definition of a sine function that is sine function is 1 over 2j e to the power j theta e to the power minus j theta so this is a sine function so uh, we have simplified this to the sine function in the fifth equality now in the sixth equality we want to keep this argument that is we want to have a function which is sine of x by x so whatever is in the argument we also want to divide the whole sine function by that and we can do that by multiplying and dividing by 2t1 so in the numerator we have multiplied by 2t1 and similarly in the denominator we have uh, multiplied by 2t1 moreover we have uh, used the variables k pi by t from here and we have plugged them over here so in the sixth equality we have sine of x by x which can be represented in terms of a sinc function so now we have sinc function k 2 pi by t t1 and moreover the constant coefficient with it is actually 2 a t1 by t so for this kind of a function we have these Fourier series coefficients now if we plot these Fourier series coefficient so initially at uh, the frequency 0 so if we set k equal to 0 so we will come here at this point so sinc of 0 this function is 1 so we would have this value that is 2 a t1 by t which is appearing over here at the first harmonic so if we set k equal to 1 we have these side lobes uh, which would appear in, in the red and they would continually depreciate as we moved higher frequencies but note that this is a stem plot so that is this continuous blue is not there so you just have to consider the red uh, red bars so this is discrete this is only uh, only spectrum this red bar this red bar and that red bar so as a summary for a periodic signal of this shape we have these Fourier series coefficients now you may come across a periodic square wave and if you have a shifted version that is uh, the square wave is starting from here and moving onward until here so in this case you may use a time shifting property on this coefficients